regular meeting of the Depot Bay City Council is called to order. And once again, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Okay. Roll call. Oh, yeah. Oh, roll call. Sorry, Jeff. Yes, roll call. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're moving right along. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, short, seconded by Gambino. Yes. Yes. Gambino. Yes. State. No. Grant. Um, accounts payable. Mayor Leff, I move to approve accounts payable as presented, and I can answer any questions. Okay. Uh, Page six or twelve, and twice, two thirty. Gambino? Yes. Left. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, special orders, do you want to say anything about the salary committee? Yes, um, we had a response. Boards of Officers Board or Standing Committees, Parks Commission. Large concrete um, rock it looks like a rock, large part. So when they pour the foundation,
of that. Well, if it was covered with moss, it would probably look better and blend in. It would look like concrete. So the question was, Bill Spores to Eric, who's our, our who, who was our plant expert and grew up on a, in a park, was, was to spray the concrete with buttermilk. And then somebody said, boy, every cat in the neighborhood will be licking that off. <laughs> and so it's done. Uh, <laughs> and it's stuck, right? It's stuck. <laughs> uh, did it work? It did, yeah. It must have, I haven't noticed. It's concrete. Cool. covered with concrete, but the cats, you know, they do not. I'm assuming that, the, that this is in the budget. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, short, seconded by Dan Pino. Any further discussion? Butter. Yes. Bates. Yeah. Grant. What? Curry Murray will be happy. Also. Well, oh, we, we are always happy to make Curry happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sign. Yeah. I was thinking it's going to be the top uh, selfie spot in Depot Bay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Jim, shall we move on to the harbor stuff? Public comment. Yes. Sir. Oh, public comments. Public. I apologize. Okay, I'm not reading tonight. Public comments. Are there any? Our public. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go on to other uh, reasons. And now it really is the heart of the so I'll, I'll update the pilings and the dredging. So the pilings I've got. Um, the contractor looks at the pilings. Um, he has um, repair drawings on how to repair. That um, what it is is just placing wire inside the H beam. Like I kind of drew a picture up here. So inside the H beam, um, there's angle iron that'll run parallel with the inside corner, and you bolt through and reinforce it. You sister these these pieces in all four corners, and you have carriage bolts which are rounded on one end. Carriage bolts will be on the outside where the rub where the rub rail is on the on the hoop. And Jeff and I came up with a Great idea to use the, the and, and, right. So this it it would um, help just in the meantime. It's kind of a quick fix, just until we can get the, the pilings replaced. But it'll create a safer um, pilings. So we've taken this drawing of Ann Ferguson in in Astoria, and they're kind of put a they're putting together a quick price quote. For Drills and underwater drills and stuff, but he, he said that we get the material and get the holes drilled in and, and get the holes cast up. So we're looking at five thousand square foot for the next five hours and two three thousand. So in the course of the summer, it's gonna be and then you can get the next one for the next Well, it's just more of a temporary fix right. because the pilot's probably gonna be full within the, we're thinking we have more than a year or two. Yeah. So but yeah, it may probably be a galvanized piece. That's pretty much it. And then, and then uh, Jeff and I, as far, as far as total replacement of the pilings, I think it's up to the city manager to come back at the end of the year to think about just replacing our pilings, see what money we have. And we can do that and then we can start putting in some pilings as we go and not just be in the process of doing it. Because it's so expensive to do the whole pilings and put them in and put them in. And to do it in a full stop, that means it's going to be taking some time to build it.
State, you know, there was a steel and then there was galvanized. Uh, the one quote we got was for ungalvanized steel plate that's similar to that photo. That's the steel and then the stainless steel plate. So it was the background at trade winds are the galvanized steel. So there's contact with dissimilar metals to make that. Yeah. Well, I know that one around too, and we got it. <laughs> That's definitely it's probably something that Ferguson will know, but definitely I'll take a note to let him know um, as an update. So the uh, anyway, so Jeff and I are working on trying to get to see where we can get in what price quote when Ferguson comes down here. We're going to try to get the head guy to give us an updated quote and have him be on scene too to see exactly what we may need. There's there's a lot of piling on the. Are they really, do we really need, say, um, 12 pilings in that, like, one section there? Or can we use half that, or not half, but maybe minus a couple and do the same job? So we're going to, I don't know if that has to be engineered or why, or um, because the pilings can be placed in a different spot, because maybe we have to do them outside. I prefer inside, but there's all these options. And in the study that the city did, there's different options in the work we had done for the preliminary engineering for the harbor for, for docks. So there's both where it shows pilings running down the center and then there's offset pilings on the outside of the sea. Most most marinas have or harbor. So, um, the, the next thing would be the uh, meeting we're gonna have with uh, Merkley's office. And and Merkley's office on maybe, Friday. Maybe Jeff could speak a little bit on that. He's more familiar with the time frames. So this Friday at 1 p.m., uh, Senator Merkley's office has arranged to have Uh, we're putting together a meeting at one o'clock. It'll be at the community hall, and Also invited uh, yeah, I made a collage over there for the project to take down there, and it shows some of the current photos that were recently taken uh, of. of Low tide. Right, as the tide goes out, it creates little channels, but then, and then the, the material, the fine, finite stuff kind of stays at the, at the edges. Hmm. Um, well, the, the gold's probably down at the bottom. <laughs>
He is. Look at it. But we'll, I don't we'll get some pictures of that as well. I was I don't trying have to get my book in my pocket, but it's remarkably unspectacular if there's enough water there to cover it up because the water is so turbid. You can't see yeah, it. Yeah, right. Well, right. we could that's do some soundings with the uh, harbor skiff and a stick. That's what I plan on doing. I'm going to have to. Photos that morning. Uh, I believe that John Sarah from on that I've been asked to be there and I feel like I need to be but I'm also Another you know, picture of what the depth is under the keel of that. That's difficult because the charter boats are going to be up. Well, it's, I'm, I'm not going to take my boat over there and fill the cooling system full of mud. No, but uh, <laughs> but but you see what I mean. You don't have to be all the way in there, but you can at least. Well, even with the harbor skiff, if we had somebody doing some soundings <coughs> with a with a story, pole. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but that's but the harbor skiff is it draws yeah doesn't it's draw a lot of water. That, 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 might that would be important. Yeah. At low tide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it is minus tide, it's going to be like that right high and dry. The dock may. Okay. So, okay, that's it for that piece. Let's see if any questions. Okay, how about that? We'll move on to. Okay, uh, we got uh, we got seven texts from them. The bills up to date. with Bill Jensen. Through the documents. has been very good to work with. Uh, we're constantly in contact with the And I did hear from Pete.
And have we set a date or have they set the date for the October meeting? Tentatively, it is October 2nd. They came back with the okay. second. Oh, I didn't get any notice. Which, okay. Um, we're going out to new business. First item is uh, the catastrophic leave donation. So, as most of you are aware, Terry Tom, a long term He just packed from first disability. Several uh, employees have asked if they could You're asking for an exception to the handbook to this one occasion so that employees can. They're asked the cost of that to exceed basically the job. The formula is that we take the gross hourly pay of the owner. By that, by the uh, divided by the gross of the recipient, we have done this before in the past. Yeah, I'm it is. delighted to entertain the motion. That's a separate discussion, right. and we won't deal with that now. Yes, Jerome. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, Carla. Mm -hmm. So, this person is at a certain rate of pay. And um, Carla is at a certain rate of pay. Mm -hmm. So, if she donates her, her time, uh, her comp time, or but one of the two eligibility uh, vacation or comp vacation or comp time mm -hmm. to uh, to him in this case um, is it goes to him at her rate of pay? It would be transferred at her rate of pay, and we would take his rate and multiply it by the number of hours, and we would come up with the formula for him. But basically, it would be the cost of her. Say one week's vacation she donated. That's what the initial. But he'd be getting her rent back. Yes. Okay. And then uh, adversely, uh, 
than uh, somebody that had a lower rate of pay that that contributed to this, this gentleman. It would go to him at the lower rate. Right. Okay. It's figured on the donor's rate. Yeah. Right. And that wouldn't it be, uh, let's make it real simple. Say somebody's making $10 an hour, somebody's making $5 an hour. The guy making $10 donates 20 hours. So the guy that's getting five dollars is going to get double, double that. Yeah. So he's going to get twice that. Thing. And same vice versa. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's making ten and if they don't make twenty hours, and this guy's making five. Yeah. Okay. I, that's why. That's why I figured that. Uh, you did good. I'll make, I'll make the, uh, the motion that we uh, approve this. You know? Yes. Yes. Dates. Yep. Um, next item <coughs> on the agenda is Vista and Shell. At the end of this, it, it's where we have the uh, force main, 12 inch force main. Um, and it's going to be a piece of code that comes out of the uh, Now, we also have a um, next year we're going to do the sidewalk. It's a bit rather than. West side with alligator and a hole. So when we do upgrades, it may come back and haunt us if we only do half. So the contractor suggested and explained to me why I thought it was just him trying to sell more asphalt, but it does make sense because it gives something to lock in. So, so it's, it's, it's just for Shell, and then the other one is Vista Avenue, which would continue the, it, we've already put a green system in. and. It's going to provide a little more parking too to the pocket parts. It's a little bit wider. And I went ahead and had it a little wider so there's areas for cars to park on Vista that utilize our um, little pocket parks on North Point. There's really no parking on North Point. And uh, I, I told the folks up there we try to integrate some parking, but this is an opportunity for us. The other areas we just really couldn't. There's an area at, at Yokohama Trail where it's a little wider. But that's the reason why this, if, if you notice when it is paved that it's wider, it's because of that, adding a little bit of parking on, on that part of Vista. And where it is, it's past the coffee shop. We uh, did the overlay to a certain point last year, and um, just before it goes up to the right-hand side of, of Vista, which is the main artery on, on that's the area that has no asphalt, and it's a complete abrupt edge they call it that, that terminology is when it's all finished did you total this is it total uh i did not um <laughs> I don't know. it came in late i'm sorry huh? oh yeah, i do that everybody yeah. has it but it isn't total it it's total. not yeah, I, 
I can do it real quick here, sorry. Thirty thousand eighty five? I think that's about close. There's a few cents, but I figure it could work. Well thirty thousand eighty five. Anyone have questions for Brady? By uh, Short, seconded by Goddard, and there's a question. These are all positive figures. I show it's 34,136. Well, right, I can't either. What was your number? Calculator 34 136. So, Kathy, are you willing to amend yes. your motion to round it to 35,000. Yes. Yeah. We have um, dredging issues September 21st. Did we cover that or is we, this? We covered that with okay, this. So harbor. That's covered. Oh, yeah. And you said it's at 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to correspondence. It's finalized. We have copies. Uh, Robert and I talked about a little bit today. Did everybody get copies on that? Did you guys all get copies of it? Yeah. Okay. So, um, anyway, it's it's good. We won't be going to the farmlands in Longston. We're, uh, we're actually going to, it's going to be more feasible for the city um, with our new we don't have to worry about rain we're not like Um, the units coming in October, I'd say uh, we'd probably be uh, the building. I'd say by next, give me till Thanksgiving, and I'll bet you that it's up and running and working. Ready for the Thanksgiving uh, flush. Of the I think once it's up and running, it might be. We'd like to do an afternoon tour of the plants if it's not pouring down rain. Um, so the uh, 
Paisley Street overlay. Uh, if there's one area on there, I don't know if you folks uh, gone down and looked at Ainsley, but it turned out really nice at the very end of Melody. It dead ends back there, but there's an area to turn around back there, but it turned out really nice. And the neighbors are really happy. Old gravel road that's half gravel and half chip sealed and gravel running all over the place. So, um, thank you. Um, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. That. Um, the city crew helping with the salmon bay, the, the city crew was very. Um, Helpful this year, but they got a lot of thank yous from the chamber and also the chamber utilized the uh, county work crew and they on the chamber. So uh, for three days, we got quite a bit of work done in the harbor. The nature trail was raveled and uh, so I suggested I write a thank you to the chamber. Did a really good job with the salmon bank too, along with all the volunteers in the chamber. It was a really good. So, uh, landscape work at City Hall. You can see that Jeff and uh, Carla actually came with some great ideas with some of our landscaping. We put the piling out there with the rope around it. And, Nursery is supposed to be uh, tolerant and you know, bring flowers and salmon. So this is the um, tree that we have out there. <laughs> Pretty silly. Um, okay, the cleaning of the jetty rock. Um, I, I've got a lot of the plants. The guys that pulled uh, the jetty rock was one issue that um, the Corps of Engineers is our responsibility. That a lot of the work's been done. As far as placing the rocks back in the tree holding, that is the same issue that we've been dealing with for three years. We go to the tree rock place, we grab the rocks and put them in place. But all the plant removal has been done and, and cleaned up, so I, at least I can take photos and give them an update. Rocky Creek, uh, the intake is still running. I know ODOT got a hold of me and wanted to know because they can clean that in, that area. Is a tunnel that goes under the highway, six foot. All you guys, the communities. Um, the uh, and so the, the firewalls put back, they textured it. So, uh, Jeff and I got to go in and clean up all the we urbanized the basement, but uh, I think there's, there's probably a load of uh, material that needs to be moved and all that stuff up on there. Uh, that was that was the first phase of that, so it was kind of quite lengthy. A good winter project, the guys could paint the ceiling and stuff, but uh, that's about it. Other than that, it's all good. Yeah, again, the salmon bake was, was wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Jeff. Okay, okay uh, tomorrow afternoon, Thursday morning, we meet. Adding a purchase order. Girls have questions about some of the things and also also in your packets there are two job descriptions. One is the city harbor utilities clerk who is responsible for essentially the park center. And what he's going to be doing essentially is going to have somebody that operates the park center and they're going to be responsible for the operations of the park center. Uh, afternoon council 
approval to go forward with the amendment to Section 5.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.
Okay. Yeah. All right. It was Kathy Salt Shop. Yeah. Okay. This one though is totally new, or does it still say the years before set? It's got that? additional things listed that weren't, yes. wasn't currently in the job description. That's going to trump the secretary. We'll do away with the secretary. Okay. Yeah. I'm good with all that. Do we need to go over this, or I mean, do we need to proofread it, kind of thing? Have you read it? I have read it. You have. I am in full support. I'm sorry. That's not true. That, that's actually not true. We just went through this at the fire district and almost got sued because we wouldn't mention it in public. Salaries are not secret. You know, it, it, it leaves me uncomfortable. Okay. okay. All right. Because I may not agree. Or any other, um, uh, or, or, or any other council persons, they would be left out. Okay. Just, it's just on this particular one, not the uh, harbor clerk, okay? But on um, the changing of um, uh, Carla's And so I'm not sure if we want to um, maybe postpone this change until after we get the salary set. Oh, okay. That is the description. Hmm? This, this. Well, the, the original um, job description that I was hired under is not the job description that was presented to council. I don't recall how many right. meetings so ago. Right. What did you say to Ruth? But what was sent yeah. to Ruth was that this job description that you have in right. front of you oh, to yeah, this yeah. evening. Yeah. Yes. So, so the, um, with that title, what, what are we calling the title? It's, it sounds Executive glorious. Administrative mm -hmm. Assistant. Executive Administrative Assistant. Mm -hmm. Okay. And who, who's the executive? She's an administrative assistant. Well, to there's the mayor, mayor, there's the council, there's me, there's Larry Lewis, Brady. Well, let me get a sense of the council. Does anyone else agree with Jerome or have the same concern that Jerome has? No, no, no. No, but I do not. Well, we can go ahead and continue. But I, I still have a question. Now well, okay, ask your question. Okay. So, Carla, you, mm -hmm. you explained to us uh, Ruth received one of these for your position. Is it, in fact, this one? Or is it yet not the one you were hired under and not the one we reviewed, but yet a new one? 
The one that was reviewed by you is what was sent based on the conversation um, that there were grammatical errors and things that, that were discussed at the council meeting um, to, that we didn't feel would affect the, um, for the purpose of the salary survey. Okay. So, but still, I'm, I'm, I apologize, this is crazy, but I, I'm still at a loss. The original, the original one you were hired on, uh -huh. we aren't worried about that at all because we didn't even see it. So then we got this one recently, a few meetings ago, and we reviewed them. And then we have this one. Is there anything majorly different between the one we got a few uh, month or two ago that also went to Rue? Different. Much difference between that one and this one, other than a title. The title okay. that you see there, the was what was sent to Ruth, if that's okay. your question. But was it, okay, then. But it was the same for, description? Yes. Okay. Verbatim. I think it's the exact additions to Ruth. Well, additions from the city secretary job description, which you were all given job descriptions right. quite right. some time ago, and then um, what was presented recently is yes. that. So yes. the one we reviewed just recently and gave yes. the is this. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, yes. Does anybody else have a comment? Before I go. So, um, I, I just wanted to, um, Beth was hired with uh, just an hour on the rate. She didn't receive benefits or anything? No, because so she, she, was was under, was, she was under the, uh, 20 hour or 30 hour. person um, Good. Okay, I'm not all in the waiting room, uh, and I agree with that. But as far as experts go, I mean, 
look, at, we've got a bunch of experts running the uh, state government here. We're in, <laughs> if, you know, we're in debt in the tune. Because it was under the guidance of experts? Okay, enough conversation about that. We're waiting when the survey comes in, and then we'll, that'll be the next step. Okay, any more correspondence? No. Okay. Um, do we need to do anything about that? Oh, we need then, to, but well, no, why are we going to wait? <clears throat> well, you just said. You know, Oh, no, we're going to wait on the results of the salary survey oh. about the dollars. Okay, so we're still deciding whether we're going to do this. Is that right? The staff has asked us to okay. approve those, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, if I hear a motion from council. Whether we're in the ballpark compared with other communities of our size. Why did we spend the money for the sound? Correct. Okay, Why let's, there's a motion on the floor. We'll vote on the motion on the floor following that. If someone wants to present another motion, they certainly can. Any more discussion? Would you call the roll, please? Would you call the question, please? Yes, call for the question. Read the motion. The motion was to accept the title change to executive administrative assistant and include the update in salary as well as add the harbor utility clerk. No, we didn't we need that on two motions on that. You know, mine, I can't. I, I mean, for me, I would, I would approve of one, but uh, not the other. But you can leave it in the same. But, uh, if you're approving of one and not the other, then you would vote against the motion as it presently exists. And then we would, if it didn't pass, we would do another one. Okay, any other comments? Yes. Got it. Yes. Motion was passed. One moment. Bring forth another motion. 